Hello guys, today I want to quickly demonstrate Livewire to you, to those of you who haven't tried and haven't seen. With this, I continue my tradition on this channel to take something complex, some topic, and then try to demonstrate and explain it in 10 minutes roughly. And here's our demo. We have a comment form down below, and your goal is to submit that form and then refresh the comment list here, including this number, and also refresh this number on top for the blog comment count and do that without full page refresh. Let me demonstrate how it works and then we'll dive into the code. So name and comment, we submit the comment, it appears here, the number here is updated and the number here is updated, all without full page refresh. This is done with Livewire and let me show you how. So here's our initial project without Livewire yet, the page of a blog post. Currently in the code we have this route get post controller show method will load the comments to avoid n plus one query and then in the blade we have only one page for the demonstration so i don't have any layout it's all in one blade file and in here we have post comments count on top and then down below we display the comments and the form below and this is the main thing what should be the action of that form? You basically have three options. Option number one is to submit to some Laravel route with full page refresh and redirect back. Option number two would be introduce some kind of JavaScript for this component and reload the data for the comments dynamically. And the third option is Livewire, which would allow this to become one Livewire component without writing any JavaScript. Let me show you. First, we install Livewire. Just by Compose require Livewire, Livewire, and that will be the only command that you need to run. There's no config or publishing or anything by default. Next, we create Livewire components specifically for that section, for displaying comments and comments form. So we run php artisan make Livewire, and let's call that component post comments form maybe or just post comments okay and it generates two files one file will be component class with the logic what will be the variables the properties and then the blade file which is the same language as default laravel blade this is one of the reasons why livewire is better for backenders for laravel developers who are familiar with laravel and don't want to go outside of laravel comfort zone so it will be the same blade and now, instead of all of that HTML comment section, so display comments and comment form, we will cut it from here like this. And instead, we'll load that as Livewire components. So Livewire post comments like this. Then we go inside of that post comments blade and inside of the div that has been generated, we paste the same HTML from our main blade. And then we need to pass the parameter of post which is done in the show blade equals post like this. And then to make that parameter available in the blade, we need to go to the class of that Livewire component and define the property, the public property of post like this public post post like this. And Livewire will be smart enough to catch that without any assignment, any constructors. And if we refresh the page, nothing changed it still works so those post comments now come from livewire blade and this is our first step so we are already using livewire now in the form instead of input type text name we will assign that to livewire properties we define two properties in this component public name or public string name of a user let's assign that to empty by default and comment text for example or comment and then instead of name name we will assign that with wire model name same here wire model comment which means that whenever we change the data in here in the live wire blade it will automatically change the value in this component and then in this component we may define the method to save that data let me demonstrate Instead of action this, or instead of action altogether, we will not submit form the usual way. We will do wire submit, and we will create a method. Let's call it save comment, like this. And now we need to create that method in this post comments class, public function save comment. And what we will do here, eloquent operations. So comment create, and in the comment model we have post ID username and body. So post ID will be this post ID from this object, right? 
then user name will be this name so that will be automatically passed and comment this comment like this we return the void here in this method and finally after saving this form we reset the values to their default so this reset name and comment those will be reset to empty values and by the way i didn't mention render function is optional but it defines which blade file is rendered if it's according to the live wire standards like in this case so live wire subfolder and then blade name corresponds to class name just with dashes then we can even skip the render and it will still work so let's refresh the page and let's submit the form so i've entered name and comment we submit comment and we get error body and of course it's not the comment it's body okay refresh the page try it again submit comment and see new comment here refreshed and these values are reset without full page refresh only this part refreshed including this number of comments so you see live wire magic in action i achieved that without writing any line of javascript and this is the main idea you use live wire for smaller parts of your application so the main application could be laravel typical mvc and only for those parts that need to be dynamic you define the component with its variables or you pass variables from controller from blade and then you perform all the dynamic operation only within that component in live Wire. Also, what I wanted to show you is there may be more live wire components on the same page. For example, here we have one comment. So we would probably want that number to also refresh when the new comment appears, right? So we can make this number a live wire component, small component, and pass the event, dispatch the event from here, and that will be automatically caught in this component. Let me show you. So we make another live wire component post comment count, and in our show blade, we go here, and instead of that div, we actually do a live wire post comment count and let's pass count with the value of post comments count right away and then we cut this part go to blade which is by the way powered by laravel idea plugin for php storm it allows to navigate to live wire components and then instead of that we just do count because that will be a parameter so count here and now if we go to the component class public integer count like this and now in our component this after comment create and before the reset we need to dispatch the event so this dispatch and let's call the event comment added something like this and then everywhere else on the page in all other live wire components you can listen to that event catch it and react for example you can create a method called refresh count which would refresh the count of comment from the database or for simplicity let's do just count plus plus which will be fired only in case of comment added and of course it should be this count plus plus and let's rename it to increment comment count like this and let it be void and then here on top we add php attribute called on from live wire attributes here and we add the name of the event which is comment added and then this would automatically re-trigger rendering and update that number let's try i have refreshed the page two comments here and let's add a new one so i hit submit comment i see three here and we navigate on top three here as well again without full page refresh only this part was refreshed let me demonstrate this is important for you to understand how LiveWire works. So if we open the network tab of development tools and if we try to add one more comment, see what happens. I submit comment, then the general LiveWire update is fired and then the response of that event is HTML part div of only that part and then LiveWire re-renders only that part of the page. So you can see display comments html comment which means it comes from this blade so it starts only here it doesn't download any full html and then there's another update in this case for refreshing the div of comments count for comments so this is how livewire works under the hood and basically in my opinion that's all you need to know about livewire to understand whether you want to use it or not 
Of course, there are many more features. In the official docs, you may see properties, actions, forms, events, and others. And in my course that I recently updated, LiveWire 3 for beginners, I also talk about form validation, full page components, which are used in Laravel 12 starter kit, also wire navigate for SPA behavior. But those are, in my opinion, kind of cherries on top if you want to go full deeper into LiveWire. But in many cases in our team, in our project, this is exactly how we use LiveWire. Only four small components on the page, a few properties, a few functions to change something, and that's it. So this is why I called this video main things you need to know. So you would be able to make a decision how to submit that form dynamically, whether you want to go full page refresh or JavaScript. So learn Vue or React and then deal with NPM commands, recompiling and writing more code, to be honest, or you may be sold on Livewire, which I'm a big fan of, to be honest. My goal here was to demonstrate. Did I succeed? Let's discuss in the comments below. And I will put the code of that project in the repository and the link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.